Okay, so you may hear about apple cider vinegar. What are the benefits? What is it? What is the deal with apple cider vinegar? And how is it good for my heart? How is it good for weight loss? I'm almost a type 2 diabetic. I'm insulin resistant. How is that going to manage my blood sugar, my blood glucose levels? First and foremost, what is apple cider vinegar? Apple cider vinegar, it's made from apple juice. It contains acidic acid from the vinegar and small amounts of phytochemicals from the apples. In addition, it helps kill bacteria and pathogens, which is phenomenal for gut health. For people who have SIBO, gut dysbiosis, H. pylori, any type of dysregulation of the gut microbiome, what apple cider vinegar does, it helps stabilize that. First, the next thing it does, it helps balance out the pH in the stomach. Your stomach, which is the mixing pot, needs to be at a pH between one and three. If it's higher, 3.5, 4, 5, so forth and so on, it's more alkaline, which means that the porthole up above, it doesn't close properly. So this is how you get the incidences of GERD, acid reflux. So taking apple cider vinegar on an empty stomach will help balance out that pH and you need it for proper stomach function. In addition, weight loss. Now it has a lot of benefits, I'm just gonna go over a few. So weight loss, for example. Weight loss, how does taking an apple cider vinegar help with weight loss? Well, it reduces the glycemic index of carbohydrates, making it possible to manage your blood sugar. This is awesome for type 1, type 1.5, type 2 diabetics, or people who are more insulin resistant. Because when your body is more insulin sensitive, it's going to dish out less insulin. And that's great for the blood sugar insulin, insulin relationship. In addition, because when you dish out less insulin, you're able to lose weight. Insulin and weight loss are like a teeter-totter. The more insulin that's circulating in your system, you can't lose weight. So taking that will help balance that out. So what you're going to do, you're going to eat less because you're going to increase in the brain called the satiation center. The, the quicker and more stable you feel full, the better off you're gonna be. You're gonna inadvertently eat less, which leads into lower your blood sugar. Remember, one of the things about apple cider vinegar, it helps reduce the glycemic index of foods. So this is for blood sugar. For people who are insulin resistant, type one, type 1.5, type two diabetics, this is phenomenal because it's gonna make your cells more insulin sensitive. It increases the post-meal insulin sensitivity for type 2 diabetics. Now, how do you do this? Now, in addition, when you go to bed and if you're diabetic and you wake up before it's time, it's called the dawn phenomenon. Wow, I'm scheduled to wake up at 6 a.m., but I woke up at 4. What happens is that the blood sugar drops, cortisol increases, tells the brain to wake up because cortisol is a glucose corticoid and you need insulin to shunt that glucose into the cell particularly your brain so the dosage for example the dosage taking two tablespoons before bedtime helps reduce that fasting glucose level so you're able to sleep at night you're able to balance out the gut issues that you may have it reduces the chances of what's called the dawn phenomenon heart health it's phenomenal for the heart health phenomenal for your heart the acetic acid, the acetic acid from the vinegar, what it does, it helps reduce blood pressure and the renin activity. Blood pressure is controlled by the kidneys and the lungs, particularly the kidneys. And what it does, it causes a decrease in the conversion of angiotensin II in the lungs, which helps lower blood pressure. That's amazing. In addition, it lowers triglycerides. It lowers the low-density lipoproteins. It increases the HDL, which is the good cholesterol. It helps balance out cholesterol levels. So overall, taking apple cider vinegar is great for your heart. Now, how do you take it? You could either take it with food, just you know, sprinkle on your food and take it daily. Or if you're looking to stabilize the gut, I always recommend on an empty stomach, you take one, on like a shot glass, one-third apple cider vinegar, one-third organic lemon water and just top it off with regular water. Take it in a shot glass and take it with on an, on an empty stomach. And you can really take it whenever. If you get up in the morning, if you get up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom, take it then. Or if you know that you 
that you wake up first thing in the morning, it takes you about 45 minutes to get ready to eat, take it then. So you, the more you, basically the more you take it, the better off you're gonna be. Now, again, you don't wanna overdose it. So again, you know when to manage, you know how much to take because it's gonna help manage out the symptoms. Okay, so I hope this helps. If you have any comments, leave them down below and I'll see you in the next video. Be good.